You ever get the urge to just hitch up a caravan and go traveling around this great land of ours? No, me neither, but plenty of Aussies have, as evidenced by the sudden surge in popularity of the Toyota Land Cruiser and Nissan Patrol. But there's a new model, the 2025 GMC Yukon, that is about to hit showrooms that makes even those behemoths look inadequate. Promising V8 power in a three-row large SUV body, this might be the ultimate model for adventurous families. Bear with me though, in the interest of full transparency, this is a left-hand drive pre-production prototype. So it's not representative of what you're gonna get on showroom floors next year, but it does offer a good sample of what you can expect. So is it time to trade in that Land Cruiser? Let's see what this thing is all about. There's no hiding the fact that the Yukon is unabashedly American. It might as well have the stars and stripes painted down its sides. Measuring around 5.3 meters long, more than two meters wide, and nearly two meters tall. I don't think the Yukon knows the definition of the word subtle. But it's also confident in its styling and exudes a road presence few other models can match. The front is dominated by a massive grille and a tall bonnet, while the profile features classic American SUV lines and small upmarket touches. So do I dig it? I kind of do, in the same way that I enjoy tucking into a huge apple pie. Pop the bonnet of this big beast and you'll find an equally big and beastly 6.2 litre V8 engine, which is paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power and torque figures are hit 313 kilowatts and 624 newton meters respectively, which easily outmuscle the likes of the Toyota Land Cruiser and Nissan Patrol with their smaller displacement engines. In fact, the Yukon will be one of the only V8 powered options in the large SUV class when it lands locally next year. But GMC isn't ready to reveal towing figures just yet. Keep in mind the current Y62 Nissan Patrol is also powered by a naturally aspirated V8, but will switch to a turbocharged six cylinder powertrain in the new generation changeover due in late 2026. The brand is promising a best in class towing figure, so expect to see more than the three and a half ton towing capacity. But a big engine and being hard to park isn't all that the GMC Yukon is about because the interior space in here is so, so impressive. Seriously, there's enough room to swing a cat in here. I can't even reach the passenger door from my driver's seat. Space isn't the only news here because in this top spec Denali trim, it also feels premium thanks to a sea of leather, solid touch points and even interior wood grain detailing. But the biggest party trick that I like is this massive infotainment screen that measures 16.8 inches, making this screen larger than some laptop screens. And the instrumentation, that's also digital too. And that same level of comfort and opulence is also available to passengers in the second and third rows as well, just in case your kids suffer from FOMO. And if you don't have any family members to throw in the back there, folding down the second and third row seats liberates enough space to measure almost 3,500 liters in volume, meaning those trips to Ikea and Bunnings will be a breeze. One of the first things you need to know about the Yukon is that it actually shares the same underpinnings as the Chevrolet Silverado 1500. And that means this car is big. It measures 5.7 meters long, it's about two meters wide and two meters tall. This thing is an absolute behemoth. I'm gonna preface all this with saying I'm driving a left-hand drive production prototype. So these cars will be converted from left to right-hand drive through GMSV and its partnership with Walkinshaw. But what can I tell you about driving this car? Look, I've tested this car on a closed loop at very, very low speeds. From what I can tell, it's comfortable. It's big, it's lazy, and it just soaks up the bumps and road imperfections like few other cars can. A big selling point of this car is its towing capacity, and GMSV has yet to lock in a specific figure, but it is promising class-leading towing, so expect to see more than a three and a half ton potential. And don't be fooled by the fact that this car is powered by a V8, because it's not tuned in a performance application. It feels lazy and easy to drive, but in a good way. It makes a car like this easier to live with day to day. And if you're worried about parking a car of this size, don't, because there's up to 13 cameras in here, 
so you can easily judge parking distances at Woolies or Coles. And because this car is so big, there is plenty of space in the second and third rows. In fact, this Yukon will seat up to eight passengers. So if you've got a large family, don't worry. This GMC's got you covered. But a big unknown right now is the Yukon's price, which won't be revealed until closer to its market launch. Look, if I were to speculate here, given the Yukon's top spec Denali trim and upmarket aspirations, plus the fact that this car has to be locally converted from left-hand drive to right-hand drive, it could cost upwards of $150,000. But before you scoff at that, keep in mind that top spec versions of the Toyota Land Cruiser 300 series, as well as some more affordable variants of the Lexus LX are around that price point. It's big, it's brash, and it's as American as a Big Mac. But will the 2025 GMC Yukon find a fan base down under? Well, it's got some strengths like that V8 engine, but the biggest unknown is still the price. Don't go expecting that this will be the go-to towing model for city slickers, but head out to the country and you can bet that you'll probably see more than a fair few of these in the not too distant future.